Hello, welcome to this video in which I will show how to insert a virtual flip chart into your PowerPoint presentation so you can tie it onto a slide without leaving sideshow mode. And this is particularly useful when converting classroom training for online delivery. You see, PowerPoint based training is great, but often you don't want the answers to be already up on the screen. Sometimes you'll see value in getting responses from your participants and writing up their own words. For example, here I've posed a question I want participants to offer some answers to so that I can gather those answers and record them. But I'm in slideshow mode. I can't type on this slide. I mean, I can scribble on it using the basic PowerPoint functionality, but it's really hard work. Let me show you what I do. First, I'll get out of slideshow mode so I can edit the slide. Now, you want to make sure that you have this developer ribbon available. If you haven't, then go to File, click on Options at the bottom, and then Customize Ribbon. And you want to make sure that there is a tick in this developer box here. Back to the slide and let's go to that developer ribbon because the function that we want is sitting right there. It's this text box ActiveX control. Click here to select it and then on your slide click and drag to create a text box where you want to type. Release and you'll see a white box appear. Next, you'll have to change some of that box's settings to make it behave like a flip chart. And you can access those settings using this properties button here while that box is selected. You'll want to change just a couple of these properties. Um, so one of those is if you can find multi-line, you need to change that from false to true so that you can have more than a single row of text on your flip chart page. Next, set enter key behavior to true instead of false. And that means you'll be able to hit enter to start a new line while you're typing. I'll leave you to explore the other settings, but these are the minimum changes you'll need to make. You can also play with the font, color, size, uh, and general layout if you want to, but we're not going to today. Let's see what happens when I put this into slideshow mode. So I ask my question and my participants give me suggestions. And what I hear, I'll repeat and type up. So this is what I hear. Uh, somebody says to get away from work. Hit the enter key, wait for the next suggestion. Somebody says to explore other places and cultures. Somebody else in my session says to de-stress and relax. And then somebody else says to treat the children. All worthwhile answers, and I want to record them. So let's say that I've heard enough at this point. I can now move on to the next slide and the rest of my session. But when I finished, let's look at what happened. If I go back and select that slide, can you see that the answers I wrote up are still there? Now I can PDF this at this point and send it out as a reminder so people can see their own contributions and remember the session quite clearly as a result. So there we are, a creative way to combine classroom methods and online PowerPoint delivery. You'll find so many applications for this technique and I hope it enhances your training courses. 
I'm Ray Blake and I wish you well.